What's up, everyone? Welcome to our very first Youth Online. My name is Joel. I'm the worship pastor here at Crossroads Youth, and I'm so excited to be hanging with you for a little bit uh, tonight. It is Youth Day, but it's a little bit different than our normal Youth Day, obviously, because uh, we're not meeting together face to face. But we're excited for uh, however many number of weeks that this may end up being um, to get a chance to uh, still hang out with you via this social media platform and to just uh, worship together and uh, learn together and grow together together in community online, um, even when we can't see each other face to face. Um, later, we're going to be hearing a, a short message from our youth associate director, uh, Logan Miller, everybody. Uh, we're super excited. So uh, make sure to comment uh, in the comment section and encourage your friends, encourage each other, put prayer requests if there are things that, that we can be praying for uh, as a ministry and as a community, uh, kind of gathering around you and whatever it is that we can be praying for. We want to support you in that way. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited. We've been in this series, Youth's Got Talent, and last week we talked about worship um, as an idea of surrender. And uh, th this week we were actually supposed to be hearing a, a message talking about how worship really is a weapon. And uh, I love there's this passage out of Second Chronicles chapter 20. And uh, there the army of Israel is going against um, these people called the Moabites and the Ammonites. And uh, what's cool is uh, the King Jehoshaphat, he, he has this whole group of people gathered together. And he, he says this, he says, if calamity comes upon us, whether the sword of judgment or plague or famine, we will stand in your presence before this temple that bears your name and cry out to you in our distress and you will hear us and you will save us. And then it continues on and, and it actually has the, the spirit of the Lord. It says through one of the prophets, it says to King Jehoshaphat, it says, it says, this is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army for this battle is not yours, but God's. It says, you will not have to fight this battle. Take up your position, stand firm and see the deliverance that the Lord will give you. And then Jehoshaphat, he literally just bows down with his face to the ground with all the people. And then what happens, it's, it's really cool. He, he consults all these people and he says, like, what we're gonna do is when we go out against this army, instead of fighting, what we're gonna do is we're literally gonna put the worshipers in front. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually have them worship. And what happens is you see in verse 22 of Second Chronicles chapter 20, it says, as they begin to sing and praise the Lord, uh, the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir who were invading and they were defeated. And so what's really cool is like this idea of worship as a weapon. Um, worship, as we talked about last week, is not uh, something that we do necessarily, it's who we are. And so whatever we're doing, we are offering our bodies as a living sacrifice. We're choosing um, to worship through whatever it is that we're going through. So whether we are uh, in this situation for a long season or for a short season, um, whether um, this virus impacts our family personally, or we see it from a distance, we're going to choose to believe that our God has already won the victory. And even when we can't see underneath the surface of what's going on, uh, we can only see what's happening right in front of us. Um, we have to believe that God is working underneath that and that we're going to see what God uh, has is going to turn for good. Um, we're gonna sing a song that we've been singing in youth for a while. And it, it simply says that we're gonna see a victory for the battle belongs to the Lord. And so whatever battle that we're facing, whether it be a physical battle, whether it be a spiritual battle, um, he is already going before us and he is already winning the victory for us. So wherever you are, if you're at your house, um, hopefully you're quarantined by yourselves, um, just kind of take a moment. Um, I'm gonna pray over, over this time that we have together and then we're gonna worship together um, in song. So if you would, by your heads, close your eyes. I'm gonna pray over us together. Father, I thank you so much that you are a God who is victorious, that you are not a God who is caught off guard by anything that we will ever experience. And so God, you knew before the creation of the world that we would experience this moment in history right now. And so you are prepared and you are already going before us and you are already working um, in, in the midst of our waiting when we don't know what's going on, you do know what's going on. And so God, may the God of peace uh, calm the chaos that's going on around us. May the God of healing um, bring healing and, and just reconciling people um, in the midst of all this stuff that's going on. We pray for our leadership. We pray for our country. 
And we pray for us as people, as, as a youth ministry, as a church, that we would be the people who choose to worship even when we don't understand uh, what's going on. We understand one thing, and that is you are for us and that you are not against us. So God, we pray uh, that as we worship you, God, that your spirit would be felt in a real and tangible way. We love you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. The weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. When the darkness falls, it won't prevail. Cause the God I serve knows only how to triumph. My God will never fail. No, my God will never fail. And I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. And I'm gonna see a victory, I'm gonna see a victory For the battle belongs to you, Lord oh, yes. There's power in the mighty Jesus, every war he wages, he will win. Oh, and I'm not backing down from any giant, and I know how this story ends. Yes, I know how this story ends, and I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory For the battle belongs to you, Lord And I'm gonna see a victory And I'm gonna see a victory For the battle belongs to you, Lord We sing And I'm gonna see a victory I'm gonna see a victory for the battle belongs to you, Lord. And I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, let's sing in faith you take what the enemy meant for evil you take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good you turn it for good you take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good you turn it for good what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good you turn it for good oh you take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good you turn it for good oh you take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn What the enemy meant for evil And you turn it for good Cause you turn it for good And I'm gonna see a victory I'm gonna see a victory For the battle belongs to you, Lord And I'm gonna see a victory I'm gonna see a victory for the battle belongs to you, Lord. Oh, you take, you take what the enemy meant for evil, and you 
turning for good is you turning for good oh, you take with the enemy meant for evil and you turn in for good you turn in for good you take with the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good you turn it for good you take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good you turn it for good What's up, youth fam? Welcome to Youth Online. My name is Logan. I'm on staff here at Youth. Um, even though we're not able to get together today on Youth Day physically, we still have our online community, which is very strong. And something that we're actually going to be doing is bringing more content for you guys to stay plugged in and to feel connected throughout this time of isolation. Um, you know, something that we're actually going to be bringing to you guys on our Instagram is daily devotionals um, on our IG live and then also new content on our YouTube channel for you guys to follow along with. And then something that's also still going on, we actually announced it yesterday on our Instagram is Camp 2020 is still on as of now. Um, we have our tribe leaders picked out. We're super excited about this time. Um, remember that high school camp is June 17th to the 21st and middle school is June 21st to the 25th. So make sure you guys go online um, at cccgo.com slash events and you can go to a high school or middle school camp, get registered for that. It's going to be an awesome time. Something we want to encourage you guys with uh, during this time is to, to remember that the same spirit of God um, that rose Jesus from the dead, the same one that brought Lazarus back to life is the same one that's inside of me and same one that's inside of you. And during this time of where fear can come into the picture and the unknown is, is scary, um, we wanna remind you that God is with you. He's never left. Um, he's been with us the whole time and he's gonna be with us through this season as well. Um, so don't let yourselves fall into fear. Um, we know that uh, everything, different voices could be speaking to you, um, the media and everything that's going on. But we want to remind you that God is with us and we believe that he's going to carry us through this season. Um, I remember a time in my life where yeah, I was really scared. Um, we were actually just about to have my firstborn, Amaya, and um, my wife was getting a C-section done. And I remember waiting outside of the, outside of the, the room that she was in um, because I couldn't be in there at the time while they were getting everything prepped. And it was a good 15 or 20 minutes. And, and that felt like the longest time of my life because I was so scared of what was going on in the unknown. You know, I was like, is she okay? Is my baby okay? Why has nobody come to get me yet? And it felt like the longest 20 minutes of my life. And it was in that time that you know, God kind of was working on my heart and, and reminding me that he's in control. And then I remember when I went back to the room, um, I was so scared because, you know, in my mind, they were, you know, about to, it's like a surgery pretty much. And um, I didn't look the whole time. But then I remember when the doctor said, okay, we're about to pull the baby out. Do you want to see? And I don't know what it was, but it flipped from fear to pure joy. And when I looked up, I got to see my child. And I was reminded that and God is with me throughout the whole process. And, and a lot of the fear came from the unknown. And I just want to encourage you guys, like in those moments where you're, you're scared of what may come or because you don't have control, um, be encouraged that God is in control and that he's faithful and that he's with you. Um, I want to read this scripture to you guys. It's uh, Isaiah 41, uh, 10 uh, through 11. It says, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hands. God is with us. He's in control, and he will uphold us with his righteous hand. Well, that's our encouragement for you guys today. Um, make sure you guys stay tuned with us as we release some more content um, and more updates. And as always, whether you would feel that you're the best Christian or the worst, whether you've been coming here for years or today is your first, we want you to know two things that you belong here, and we want you to keep coming back. See you guys.